Good morning, Facebook family, and welcome to our Mondays Reflect and Revive. I'm really excited about it being November. I put my Christmas tree up last night. I know it's crazy, but I did. Just a tree, I haven't decorated, but I'm really excited for the season, for Thanksgiving, for Christmas that is coming up, being with family and friends and just really enjoying our time together. I pray that the same goes for you guys as well. This morning, I wanna share um, scripture from Galatians 5, 22 and 23, and it's the fruit of the spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Um, this small devotion is also coming out of a study that I did with a few ladies. Giants, grapes, and grasshoppers. And the reason I want to share Galatians is because it really spoke to my spirit and there's um, some homework we had to do for the next time that we meet. Uh, love, joy, peace is basically dealing with our attitude towards God. Long suffering, kindness, goodness is our attitude towards our relationship with others. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control are basically for us to establish and apply guidelines for us to grow, for us to believe. But the really important thing that I really want to share with you guys is if you go back and you read the fruit of the Spirit, which of the fruit of the Spirit are the strongest in your life and you display them more often? For me, it was joy, peace, and love those come easy for me and i guess because of how god has grown me and how god lives inside of me but the two actually three but one god is working with me but anyways the three that i wrote down are kindness gentleness and self-control which self-control is number three because i really believe that god is really or has been working with me for a while when it comes to self-control especially um when I drive, but yeah. Anyways, gentleness and um, kindness, I feel that are a weakness because I thought I was like really full of compassion. And as I've grown in God, he showed me that I really wasn't as compassion as I thought I was. <laughs> um, so kindness and gentleness are two that I put with compassion, so I feel that those are really very um, shortcomings for me. And since our um, small groups, I've been really paying attention to everything that comes my way and try to react with it, with um, kindness and gentleness and just how I speak and just my body language and um, everything else, my facial expressions, because I know that my face always tells a different story. And it's been really helpful. It's been really helpful to me. And in my spirit, God has just really been dealing with me to share with you guys, which three do you struggle with? Write them down date it when you wrote it down and journal every day when you come up against something and see how you can use the fruit of the spirit to become bigger not bitter to become um excited not um down in the dumps to become more uh at peace with your own self not so much the world and the situation um, to be able to give more love, um, just as, you know, for me, the gentleness and kindness to be able to just put it out there a little bit differently. But yeah, it was really important for me and it's helped me, you know, for these past two weeks in just seeing that in myself. You know, God is just uh, full of, of humor you know, when it comes to trying to grow us and get us to that place where he knows we can be. 
So I'm not um, shamed, ashamed of, of putting my weaknesses out, especially when it helps me to grow. You know, I was brought up with, oh, Chris is so full of compassion and Chris this and Chris that when it comes to compassion. And then, you know, be, you know, 53, 54 years old and see that <laughs> you've never really been that. <laughs> you know, it's like, what a wake up call. But I'm grateful to God that um, he has seen me through and he has seen me out and he has showed me where you know, I fall short in so many areas, but it's because he loves me. And I think that's something very important for you guys to know and understand is, you know, he, you know, we get after our children because we love them. You know, God does the same thing. You know, he, he exposes us because he loves us. You know, he wants us to change. He wants us to become, you know, bigger and better for his kingdom. And if it's showing us our weaknesses is because he wants us to become strong in those areas. So write down the three that you fall short in and let God deal, you, deal with you throughout. Give yourself three weeks, give yourself a month and journal and see how much God grows you at the end of that time. Thank you for always watching. Thank you for just sending me your love through text and everything else. I really appreciate you guys. God is great. Be in much prayer doing, during this time. We're going to um, get together today in church at 11 o'clock at CPR um, for prayer for the elections tomorrow and everything that's going on in our world. So if you have the time, if you don't work, Come and join us, 11 o'clock. Precious Father, be with your creation, Heavenly Father. Go before them when it comes to the fruit of the Spirit. This is our connection with you. This is part of who we are in you. And I just pray that my brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, work it out, Heavenly Father, with you on their side, dear God, that they would see, dear God, where they fall short, Heavenly Father, and try to become bigger and better in that, dear Lord. I just thank you, Heavenly Father, for, for the love that I feel through my brothers and sisters. Every Monday, just the encouragement I get, Heavenly Father. And I pray for those that don't know Jesus Christ, that they would come and turn to you, Heavenly Father. And they would see what a difference you can do in their lives and what a difference they can be for somebody else, Heavenly Father. Help us, Heavenly Father, all to be what you've created us to be, dear God. Help us not to be fleshy, but to be spiritual in Jesus' name. God loves you, and so do I. Have a blessed Monday in Jesus' name. Bye.